This is Digging in the Tapes. In this one, we kick off the first of many episodes on building my Model A coupe. Welcome to the Livewire Chronicles. <laughs> Once Mad Fabricator Society built up a little bit of steam, I decided I wanted to collect parts and build a Model A coupe. So much like what we're doing now with Tweety Pie and the car that ate my brain, I decided as a filmmaker to document the entire build with my friends all involved and make a special DVD about it called MFS 5.5 The Livewire Chronicles. In this episode I show you guys the pile of parts I collected and my good friends Bob Bleed and Johnny Cola show up for the essential mock-up done on a frame that Bob Bleed built. Making my dreams come true, that's what it was all about. So let's get into it. In 2006, I decided that I wanted to build a Model A Coupe. I wanted to build a period correct 1958 show car. Over a two year span with some help of my good friends who happen to be insane talented builders, they helped me make my dream come true and also what is known today as Livewire. When I decided to trade a 27T that I had, I put the word out that I wanted to trade the T for a Model A coupe body. Prior to that, I've been collecting several parts to build a period correct uh, 60 style car. And it was just seemed like an easy swap. A friend of mine, Tyler out in Texas, was always into it. A few weeks later, I got a call from Tyler that he found a coupe body on a farm in Texas and it had a few chickens living in it. It was tubbed, you know, they cut out the subfloors, they were gonna turn it into some kind of street rod. So, uh, we made the deal and the deal was done. I picked up the body in Arizona, we made the trade out there halfway, and it was done. I had the coupe. I immediately called Bob up and had him make one of his classy ace hole frames uh, with the bleed sweep and the adjustable perch. I love how those sit and it's exactly what I was looking for. He had the frame done and then he had it delivered to the Grand National Roadster Show and Bob and Johnny flew out to make the car a roller. Uh, picking up Bob Bleed from the airport and uh, we're gonna finally start on my car, my Model A Coupe that I've been uh, collecting parts for forever and I got it in mock-up stage right now but this is basically the last time we'll see my car in this mock-up stage. It's gonna here, check it out. So yeah, here she is. Model A coupe that I got from Texas. And um, it's a pretty neat car. So plans are to basically fill the roof. This will probably do a pleated insert like this, diamond tuck. It's got an old 60s Nerf bar. The taillights are from a 50 Buick. Got the blue Lexan. Chopped early 60s, we believe, maybe. It was leaded and it was under a lot of paint, we figured. Probably done in about the 60s. Chrome reverse wheels I got from Aaron Von Minden. I was looking for these for a couple years. 56 Pontiac, rear end with the cross leaf spring setup. Original chrome dropped axle that I got from my friend Lucky in my car club. Chrome spring, chrome steering arms, the whole nine. This is a 58 Edsel dash that is pretty space age, which is kind of the theme I'm going for the interior. is gonna be kind of space age. Steering wheel is out of a boat. It's gold metal flake with clear and then black and gold metal flake around the uh, edges. That's about it for now. The motor's crazy alone too. That's a 52 Cadillac, all chromed up. Just crazy knuckle valve covers and 4-2 setup. And that's gonna also get painted uh, candy blue. The car will be like a kind of a frost blue with candy blue engine uh, and the dark blue Lexan. And it's gonna be a crazy car. So we got a couple days of just doing some serious building. So it's gonna be a good time. And I'm gonna film it all. So you're gonna have this thing where you interview yourself? You're gonna be like, oh, look at this kick ass frame I made. Yeah, so I've been building this frame all week, because you can see how good I work. <laughs> Look at my prototype radius rods. <laughs> Alright, there's Bob. Right there. And we're finally building somewhat unmocked now. And uh, it's just kind of sitting. I got shit all over my lens. But now it's all taken apart, and we're going to start building later.
<laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> this is professional for painting door spinners hoods and other rat rod parts. Right. <laughs> We're gonna put the motor in now. Woohoo! This is monumental. This is historical stuff, man. This is like it's gonna make me cry. Hey. My name's Bob. <laughs> I'm this man. I'm this man. I'm just gonna set this here. And it's all gonna be good. Oh shit. This could be a huge fucking disaster. That's what I think. The engine's in the car now. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Good. direct myself now. <laughs> we should start our own production company. Bad you Fabricators. I'm in California and it's raining. It's kick-ass. Um, I built a frame for Piero a few weeks ago and it got shipped here so we came out to put it together for him. What we're doing is we're mounting his nice Cadillac engine in it. Um, we're mounting his old hot rod rear end. It's an old Pontiac rear end that was in some sort of hot rod. It has a, a 36 forward wishbones that were cut off, but they used them to mount the rear spring, which is pretty cool. Um, it's my frame with the adjustable perch and the sweep and all that. We unmocked it up the way he had it, and now we've been uh, kind of positioning everything in the frame, finding out where it's going to go. We've got the motor sitting in, and uh, the front end on, and the rear end sitting in, so we're going to start building the uh, tranny mount and the mount for the rear radius rods. Um, the radius rods are another thing that is kind of neat. I made them zed to uh, match the frame, so they'll uh, they'll work like any ladder bar setup. But they uh, there's plenty of clearance for the floor, so that's what we're doing. Here we are. <laughs> what do you have to say? Clearance. <laughs> we can see last night we got a lot done. So we got the rear end mounted. Uh, today we're gonna basically uh, cut the floors out of the coop, mount it, get it all braced up. Bob's got to finish the cross member. Looks pretty damn cool. Starting to look like a hot rod. You know what I'm saying? We're going to mount the body now. Cut the floors out and uh, we're just getting ready to move it. We've gotten the, uh, it's all tacked together, the whole thing's rolling, the motor's mounted, the rear radius rods. Um, the only thing left to do in California is get Johnny laid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's, uh, we're going to put the body on for the first time. This is a golden time when body meets frame for the first time. They were pushing it out of the garage. There it is. Wow. Outdoor for the very first time.
Yes, inside. <laughs> oh. This is my first time sitting in my car, finally. These guys kicked ass, and <laughs> we were all sick. We pushed through, and everybody worked hard and got it all together, and now I'm sitting in it for the first time. Wow, this is weird being on this side. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Awesome. I'm, I'm in. I try to control the kid, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Look at Piero's car, Piero. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Well, there it is. It's all not really mocked up anymore. The frame is uh, mostly done. We just have to take it apart and finish weld it, but it, I mean, the stance is there. The motor's in, the tranny's in, the front and rear suspension, the headlights, we mounted the radiator. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's really neat. I am too. It it's rules. Key. I'm totally stoked on it. All right, so now I guess we're just gonna blow it all apart and put it all back together. Bob's gonna paint the motor, start over, basically, and finish all the welding and put it back together, and then I'll just keep plugging away after these guys leave. Build team. Don't run. <laughs> Dave Lore, ladies and gentlemen. He drove 40 hours to do this shit. He drove 40 hours just to make a bracket. <coughs> all right, Bob, what's you going on? Like me. We have it all apart. We're going to paint the motor and then we're going to put it all back together and I get to go home. We're going to frost it, frost the motor like, a, like, you know, like those chicks who go to the hairdresser. And they come out and their hair looks all weird. It's all like frosted. <laughs> and that's what we're doing to his motor. We're gonna party like it's 1987. <laughs> this is how you stir the paint. The paint needs to get stirred. What do you think about the situation? I think Harbor Freight is the best thing known to rat rods. We're here at the Harvard Freight Speed Shop. Hello! There we are! We're gonna paint some shit. Shit. Yeah! How's he still rule? So anyway, we got everything all apart. We got everything finished welded. The engine is painted blue now. It's a nice frost, like those chicks from New Jersey have in their hair. A Bob named it Live Wire after my love of Motley Crue. Yeah, the Live Wire. Yes!
Get him, get him right, like right here. All right, stop right there. All right there. <laughs> well, we got it all together. Yeah, it's pretty good. It uh, it looks great. It all balances out nice. It's got the the backwards rake that that Pierre wanted. The motor looks no. fantastic. Yeah, the motor looks um, great. We got the trick little scalloped headlights. The live wire is alive. Yeah. Almost. Thanks, guys. You rule. Yep. It's about time. Aww. It's my turn. It's my Aww. turn. Thanks for watching, and we'll be continuing this story in upcoming episodes of Digging in the Tapes, so stay tuned for that. Let us know what you think about Digging in the Tapes or your favorite Mad Fabricator Society in the comments below. See you in the next episode.